Every morning I wake up and I am stoked on that upgrade. I'm sitting here in the van in the back editing a video this morning and there's a little bit of a breeze coming in, the sunlight's coming in, oh, it's so good. Anyway, while I was sitting here editing a video, I hear that knock on the side door of my van. It's Rainer, because I'm parked and slept outside of Ray Outfitted last night. Rainer knocking on the van saying, Chrome, Chrome, it's time to pull that van in and finish the final project on my van. This trip, we've been doing a lot of stuff, man. We've been just busy doing project after project. And today, my friends, is the final one. Oh, look at that. That, my friends, is a 54 inch curved light bar. Rainer built some brackets yesterday, sprayed them down last night. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It's crazy that just one year ago, my van looked like a regular delivery van, like maybe I was driving around delivering flowers. Now my van looks like it's ready for a damn zombie apocalypse. It's kitted out and ready for the backcountry, and damn, does it feel good. That looks pretty slick up there. It's nice because it fits the contour of my roof. Oh, I love that. It seems that with every single upgrade that I do, I always get a little bit more emotionally attached to my van. This is not only just my home, this is the tool that I use to get out there and film the videos that you guys watch every day. It's a very big part of my life and I love my van. These projects are coming together so fast that I'm, I'm, I'm incapable of wrapping my head around how epic this van has turned in the last month and month and a half, whatever I've been in Ontario. It's crazy, even Cruz excited. Are you excited, buddy? He's like, no man, somebody just throw the ball. He's yelling at you, Rainer, not me. He's a spoiled little boy. It might be crazy to drive your van 5,000 kilometers just to get some work done, but when you have friends that own an outfitting company, it just makes sense to bring your home to somebody you trust. Again. <laughs> Boom. Oh, damn. Look at that. Super awesome. At the end of the day today, we're gonna to take this thing outside and turn on all the lights and possibly put the drone up in the air and kind of see what this thing looks like from up above. But I was just telling Madison here that in the first couple of years of my van life, I never utilized any rooftop space. That's a lot of square footage that's an addition to your home that's on the inside. And at the beginning when I first moved in, I was always like, well, you don't wanna put anything up there because people are gonna know you live in it. Honestly, people don't care you live in it. And the more it looks like you're lived in, the safer you're gonna be because you're not gonna get that little petty theft that just wants to grab change out of your car when they know some dude's probably in the back that's supposed to blast out. So I feel safer now that my van doesn't look stealthy anymore, you know what I mean? But all the stuff that's on my roof has been super useful. Like my awning, I now have six perimeter lights on my van four five yeah six perimeter lights on my van 300 watts of solar a little wee boost popping up over there and a rooftop carrier with all sorts of goodies in it utilize that roof space guys don't be afraid of like oh no a roof fan oh no a roof rack oh no solar on the roof people are gonna know People don't care. I know I joke about the whole stealth van thing every once in a while, and I know to some people that's such an important thing to their van life. But, you know, you realize real quick after being in the van for a while that the whole stealth thing doesn't really make a difference. Keep your van clean and presentable and don't park like a dick and you won't have a problem at all. Look at my van. My van's gone from blank cargo van to full-blown adventure van and I clearly look like I'm living in it and I have no problems at all whatsoever parking the same places that I used to when my van was stealth. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing, hey? What's he doing to our house?
pretty awesome to sit up here at this angle and actually get to take a look at the roof because, well, you don't really very often get to see it in this angle. What am I gonna do in the backcountry? Like climb a tree and take a look at it? But it's a surreal moment kind of to watch all this stuff come together and realize that when I leave this trip, I get to put everything that we did out here into some good functional practical, practical use and have some fun out there in the backcountry. Little, little perimeter lights here, the nice bright light bar on the front, and that little tiny black thing sticking out of my roof there, that tall thing, that's a cellular booster, it's called a Wii Boost. And for me, I'm stoked to get out there and actually get better cell reception when I'm out in the backcountry so I can upload videos from way out there where normally I'd have to drive back closer to town to get a couple bars. So that little Wii Boost thing will kind of spike it up a little bit. We'll talk about everything that's gone on in my van um, in upcoming videos as we travel down the road after we leave here in Ontario because things have been moving by so fast that it's been hard to just focus on one video topic. Oh man, I'm so excited. So what he's doing right now is just doing some wire management, cleaning everything up, making things look nice and pretty and securing it all to the roof. On the end of these Rhino Rack bars, all that it does has this little kind of beauty cap on the end. You pop it on there, take the little key and lock it. That's it. So then if I ever want to get things off of here, like the Wii Boost, I just open that, loosen the Wii Boost and slide it right out the end. Can you guys even notice those little corner perimeter lights? They just blend right in. <laughs> so stoked for this. Then there's the light bar in the front, which just like, it fits the contour and looks good, but it's got that bit of bling to it that's like, hello, <laughs> hello, look at me. These things I think are gonna be a good addition to anybody's van. I got a funny feeling that maybe these guys here might be installing these on a few more vans, huh? They're pretty, they're pretty sweet. Even if you're just doing one of them as just like one porch light, because these things don't need to be mounted to a roof rack. You can actually drill a hole in the side of your van and mount it there. So when I was talking to the guys at Hitchweb, they were saying that this is the, that was the number one use for those is they see them going on to RVs and stuff right on the side. I don't know guys, super rad. I'll leave the links to these things down below. But uh, yeah, hitchweb.com. When I first talked to those guys about doing my roof rack system, it's funny when you start dealing with a company and start realizing how friendly they are and they're Canadian, which is pretty cool. But then to hear that they watch my videos, like when I first reached out to them about these scene lights, he was like, oh yeah, I know what you're doing. I've been watching your videos. The Ray Outfitted shop's pretty cool. <laughs> I love that, you know, when they start following and enjoying what we're doing. So stoked, Rainer. <laughs> So this one was my porch light, and I thought this was gonna be easier to come in here and just kick on my porch light outside. But now that I was in the van last night, kind of getting a feel for everything, I think this one here is best for my house lights because it's the closest here, I can just grab it, hit it. That way I don't accidentally switch on my outside perimeter lights or anything like that, which is also on this panel here. Yeah. So house lights, we boost, which is already on that switch. And then uh, this one will be an open switch. So we could add something else if we need it down the line. If you're brand new to my channel and you're watching all of these upgrades, don't get any of this stuff twisted. You don't need this stuff to start your van life journey. Just live in your bare empty van for a while and learn your space. All of these upgrades I'm doing to my van right now are just me spoiling myself rotten for all these years of hard work here on YouTube. You don't need this stuff, it's luxuries. So I can see when I'm backing up in darker areas. Bada boom, that one's on, check. Oh, I love having the conveniences of having these inside my van. And this one is for my little interior light. Oh, such conveniences. And they're green fitting because Ray Outfitted installed them in their company colors are green, 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 
and green. Just doing a little bit of cable management behind my drawers to make sure that none of the wires back there uh, get clipped by a drawer or anything like that. So he's just tying them all up and getting them nice, nice and out of the way. But those are the little things that you need to think about when it comes to running your wiring, having them accessible no matter where you run them. See, everything in my van is visible from the front where the battery goes, right underneath the drawers, they're visible. And also when they're underneath my bed, I have that huge section where you can see all of my wiring. And that's key guys, because if you ever need to repair something and you can't get to your wires, you're in a whole world of, oops, I did something wrong. Kind of building a bond and an attachment to these things. These things are super cool. For now, we're gonna be putting this just up in the top cupboard up there because it's right beside my head when I'm playing with my DJ gear until I decide a final position for this thing. Cause as of right now, I don't know. This will be my XLR inputs for my DJ controller. And it's just super cool to have this mounted like in my van. This is the kind of stuff that you would see like on a wall in a nightclub kind of thing for a permanent installation. Do you want in? Come on. <laughs> Out of all the upgrades I've done to my van this summer, this is the one that means the most to me. Getting my studio monitors installed into my van and kind of building a DJ studio in a van. How crazy is that? Because I've been a career DJ my entire life, it is so amazing to be able to put this back into my world and have it mobile no matter where I am on this planet. That works. Yeah. It's gonna be nice in here, man. There is no way that a YouTube video can do justice to how beautiful the sound quality is coming out of those studio monitors. You see, those are meant for being in a recording studio for music production, so inside of my van, they sound absolutely incredible. I used to have the larger versions of those exact speakers in my recording studio in my condo. One of the last electrical things to do is to get this mounted on the wall, which is an indoor temperature monitor. Got some double-sided tape on the back and I'm gonna stick this. Hold on, I need two hands. So anytime I need to know what the temperature is, it's gonna be right here by the door. Tells me what the outdoor temperature is and the indoor down here. So Rainer's up on the roof right now mounting my outdoor sensor. That wraps up all of the wiring and everything we need to kind of do here at Reoutfitted. Um, except for maybe put the van up on the hoist and just make sure everything's mechanically sound before we bounce on and drive 5,000 kilometers through Canada. But we're not done. As soon as that sun goes down, we're gonna take this bad boy outside in the dark and see what all these lights look like. We lost out on a huge part of our summer this year, dedicating it to upgrades on my van. And it's at this point right here where all of our projects are finished and I get to reap the benefits of all the hard-earned money we sunk into the van this year. This is a very exciting moment for me. Oh heck yes. <laughs> this thing lights up the entire planet. Look at that. That's my front light bar. Hey, John. Unbelievable, you guys. Look at this. Completely lights up the entire parking lot. This is amazing. All coming from the lights around my van. So we have four outside perimeter lights, one on the top in the back. There's the drone up there. You guys hear it? 
high drone. Ah, oh, guys, just amazing. And everything is all switched. So if I wanna shut the back one off, it's right there. There's the back lights out. My one switch, which does all four corners. And then the big boy light bar. Unreal. There's the drone up there trying to capture it. Where'd it go? I never imagined that this thing would look so good. So even shutting off my front light bar, which is insane, for regular like outdoor, you know, backcountry situations, that is a substantial amount of light. Look at that, light's right up there. Over here, there's a little picnic area. <laughs> These little lights that I picked up at hitchweb.com are just freaking amazing. So thank you to the crew there uh, for hooking me up with these things. They're just, just nothing but beautiful. Right above my door, boom. I got my, I got my own porch light. <laughs> That's awesome, just right there. That's just my porch light. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching today's video. I wanna thank everybody here at Ray Outfitted for installing all of this stuff on our van and making this thing beyond epic. I'm so pumped up to get this thing out on the trail and start putting it to its paces because that's why we made this trip all the way out here was to make my van just that much more back road ready. So thanks to Hitchweb for hooking me up with the lights. Thanks for Ray Outfitted for all the things that they've done while we're out here. And uh, yeah, so we just got little mechanical check tomorrow and then we're on the road again so i'll see you guys soon bye say crazy say bye you want to use your paw on it say bye